Alright lads, how are we all doing? Hopefully you guys are all good and well. Now before we jump into this video, I'd just like to apologise for not uploading for the past two weeks. I have been away on holiday and all that sort of stuff, but I'm back uploading now. So guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the TTRS Aldi. I said that the wrong way around, the Aldi TTRS, which is another car that you can only unlock in a wheel spin or if you're lucky enough to get it off the auction house. Now, I did a previous video on cars you could get off the auction house or if you got them in a wheel spin. They're very rare, very hard to get your hands on. Uh, I made a video on that a few weeks back now and uh, that's got over 600, uh, 600 views. So if any of you guys did watch that and leave a like, it means a massive amount to me. I don't get paid for doing YouTube or any of that, so if any of you guys do leave a like on the video, it means so much to me. Or if, even if you leave a subscribe or something like that. Right guys, so where's... Without any further ado, let's get into this video. Right guys, so in this video, like I said at the start, we are looking at the Audi TT RS, which comes standard at 335 brake horsepower, 450 newton meters of torque, and 1,494 kilograms, which is which is six kilograms shy of being one and a half tons. Now guys, I got the, I was lucky enough to get this in a wheel spin. I'm of level 124 right now and I've only ever got one of these rare cars in a wheel spin. I don't know why they've done it but I think it's a great thing because you've actually got to grind the game to get these cars that you want. Now guys, I'm going to be comparing this to the Audi R8 in this video which you can buy off the auction or you can get it in a wheel spin or you can even just buy it off the car showroom. Um, now that car, the Audi R8, comes with 610 brake horsepower which is nearly double the amount of power off the TTRS. It comes with 560 newton meters of torque and 1,555 kilograms, which is just over one and a half tons. So, um, to be honest with you guys, this car feels absolutely amazing. I got it a couple of weeks back, but seeing how well my other video did, I thought I'd just bring this out and just compare them a little bit together and what overall review I think of the Audi TTRS. Now, rarity, it's a really rare car, so if you were to take it online, there isn't a lot of people that have it. To be honest with you guys, the car handles well, it looks really good, the modifications that you can do to the car look absolutely amazing except for this big stupid Forza wing that you can put on. Other than that, the car is mint in my opinion, I have the, I have the gloss black duck tail and the dual, um, the dual exhaust at the back, the two... The two quad, the, the quad exhaust, that's what I'm trying to say. The quad exhaust at the back, that's how I'd rep it. Um, I haven't done anything to the car, I've not had any mods put on it or anything like that. I've literally just drove it round stock, I've not done anything with it. Um, to be honest with you guys, the car feels absolutely great. It feels similar to the Audi R8, but not as much power, and that's obvious. It's a bit lighter, so it handles on the corners very, very well. Um... But in my opinion, guys, if you were to luckily get this car, if you wouldn't, li if you wouldn't like it, sell it on the auction because there's someone who will be scoping it out. I'm just trying to get you guys my opinion for you guys to see if it's worth actually like scope like here. Uh, I think it's called sniping. That's what we used to call it back in the FIFA days. If you're trying to snipe this car, it's very hard to get off the market. Um, I've never seen one on there. The only time I've ever got one is when I got one in a in a wheel spin, and I didn't even realise I had it till I literally landed back in England yesterday. Uh, I played Forza and then I realised that I had it in there. So I thought I'd make a video on it. To be honest with you guys, if I was going to keep this car, what I would do is um, I'd turn it into a drift car. So if you were drifting online with your mates, it stands out. It looks rare. It's not going to be stupidly fast. It's just going to drift well. I would recommend putting it to rear-wheel drive and drifting it. So uh, I don't know what else to talk about in this video, guys. I'd just like to apologise for not uploading um, I know this video is going to seem like a short one, even if I do carry on rambling on for a bit. The video is going to seem like a short one. I'm, when I've done finishing this, I'm going to quickly edit it, start rendering it, and then I'm going to do a mod to the Civic. So if you are following the Civic build, guys, shout-outs to you lot for sticking with me and watching these videos, even if you don't really care. Um, if you're still watching at this point, leave a like on the video. I want to get your guys' opinions in the, in the description, in the comment section down below on what you think of this car. In my opinion, it looks amazing. I really like the look of it. I would never have one in real life, personally, because for what you can get with the money, I'd get something else. Um, I was just lucky enough to get this. If I could give this car away to you, one of you guys, I actually would. But unfortunately, uh, the matter of the fact is that whoever picks it up, picks it up in the selling like rapid at the moment. As you can imagine, because some points in this video that you're watching right now, I did actually put the, um, the auction house at the moment and there's nothing on there whatsoever. So anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like on it. If you want to see any more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I can do series on Forza or whatever. I just need to let, I just need you guys to let me know what you want to see. So thanks for watching. If you are new around here, please hit the subscribe button. If you want Forza or real life car mods, it's basically just a big car channel. Well, a little car channel. But um, 
yeah so anyway guys thank you ever so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you all in the next video peace out